Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be a on, or I was going to say online, but it is online. <laughs> it's not live, but it's a video card on what should you be focused on. I will draw the cards while I'm doing this recording, so please like and subscribe. What should you be focused on? Pile 1 is Tiger's Iron. Pile 2 is Regular Tiger's Eye. And then Pile 3 is going to be Lapis Lazuli. So these are the three piles to choose from. Choose from the heart. Choose the pile or piles you're drawn to the most. And we're going to get started with pile one, which is Tiger's Iron. Let's see, pile one, please like and subscribe. This is a general message. Take what resonates. If it's not for you, don't listen. If it is, take the message. Use your intuition. If you want a personal reading, info's in the description box below. And I just did my um, community post for the Saint Expedite San Espedito Money Blessing Ceremony. It is $30 because I am going to put a lot of my energy and focus into that. And that is not something that I give just for fun. This is going to be a little bit stronger type of ceremony. And if you are serious about this manifestation that we will be working on together, then yes, it will be $30 and you will participate. The right people will attend and the ones who do not feel drawn to it, that's perfectly okay as well. Okay, pile one, Tiger's Iron. What should you be focused on? Angels, guides, Archangel Michael, show my space. What should you be focused on? I'm really drawn to the black tourmaline. So you need to protect yourself because um, I'm looking at this right here. It's my black tourmaline um, pendant that I have here. It's literally like a raw piece of tourmaline, just a big old chunk here on the necklace. So you may need some type of protection in addition to tiger's iron, which is going to give you strength from someone who could be trying to energetically drain you. I do see that you should be more focused on your relationships. The people you love and care about, you should be nurturing this. That's what you should be focused on. I'm also seeing... Um, Finding an interconnectedness within yourself, within your soul. So what you should be focused on, Pile 1. Healing your heart space. Manifesting new beginnings with the Fool card. Being more focused on loving yourself. Having that stability. I do feel stability and nurturing. Um, you need to be more focused on your relationships, Pile 1. You need to be stronger, more passionate. Focus on the things that you want to attract, Pile 1. You should be focused more... I'm getting for some of you, you should be focused more on your love life. So I don't know if maybe you're not giving energy to that. Um, Because I'm getting more like a relationship. Because it will flow into blessings for your money. It's like a snowball effect, kind of what I'm getting. Pile 1, Tiger's Iron, what should you be focused on? For the collective, positive energies. Yeah, you should be focused on nurturing yourself, others, and also forgiveness. Forgive the past or forgive yourself. What should you be focused on, Paul? What should you be focused on, Paul? Communicating with your spiritual team or telling your family and the people that you care about how much they mean to you. Expressing yourself and pursuing your your goals your dreams your money it's almost like tiger's iron is going to give you the strength and motivation to keep moving forward so you have that solidarity that stability that you're seeking in your career your finances your love life and every aspect it's like getting that strength to go after what you want so that you can have success ending any pain conflict or sadness and having victory and success so ending type of any type of sadness that was holding you back. Any imbalances will be gone. They'll have a hollow victory. Tires iron protects you from doubting yourself and from any spell work that someone could have been sending to you or from someone who was very negative. You're going to be like this king of swords, trusting your intuition, speaking your truth. You're focusing on protecting yourself. I heard protect your health by eating better, drinking more water. It's almost like your body is your temple. You are protected for four, four angel number. And I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, look at your angels and guides are protecting you. So focus on protecting yourself and giving more energy to the things that you want to blossom. 
speak your truth, words of positivity, your words are powerful, you're a strong manifester. So focus on the things that you want to attract, not on the things that will bring you down or weigh you down or the coulda, shoulda, wouldas, or I remember way back when, and then it's a negative memory. No, we're not thinking about that. Focus on the good and what you want to call into you, okay? That's the message for Pal 1. Let me know if that resonates. If you like this reading, I just felt wrong to do that. Like spur of the moment, like I haven't even done my hair yet, but it doesn't matter. I just wanted to get that message out to you. Okay, please like and subscribe. Comment below if you found it helpful. Pile two, tiger's eye. It's a little different from pile one. Tiger's eye. You were drawn to tiger's eye. Your ancestors want to communicate with you. That's what you should be focused on. I came through very strongly. Your ancestors are going to shield you and protect you. You should be focused on warding your home because he's protecting the entrance. So your ancestors protect you, but you need to do more ancestral work. I'm also seeing like the tree of life, the Kabbalah could have some significance for you, pal, too. Your ancestors, your culture, like focusing on who you are, where you were in a past life is what I'm getting, and who you want to be. I'm hearing wake up and pay attention. So they want you to put like a, a boundary, because I'm seeing like somebody sprinkle salt, like a, a shield. At the entrance of your home they also want you to do a seven day candle if you haven't already done so because someone is trying to stunt your growth and progress so pile two is more about protecting yourself yeah look at they're trying to make you feel ill or stuck message from the ancestors for pile two on what you should focus on yeah oh my gosh you guys someone is trying to unalive you some of you take what resonates it's not for everybody if there are messages for you, listen. If it's not for you, don't listen. Someone's trying to unalive you. Or they try to. Message from the ancestors. Positive energy is only tires. I, I'm getting someone dressed in white or having a head wrap. You guys might need to veil. Yeah. Because your ancestor has come through to protect you. You need to focus on ancestral work. Or you may need to visit them at like the graveyard or cemetery. It's like, they want me to show you this again. You guys are visual, you need to see this. Someone is trying to attack you energetically and you are protecting your home, putting up boundaries because you're trying to cause a delay in your finances. This is the slowest moving card and it is associated with money. So if you feel very drawn to this reading and you feel like this is something you're currently going through, you should join my online ceremony on the, on the 20th because someone's trying to slow down your blessings and block you. I am working with St. Expedite. You do not need to be his devotee. He works rather quickly. That's why it's happening so soon. The 17th to the 20th is in three days. And I'm charging $30 serious inquiries only. Because it's going to be a lot of energy. And I'm going to do a whole setup for him. And it's going to be amazing. And I'm not giving my energy very freely to manifest for just $20. That's why it's $30. Someone's trying to make you ill. To unalive you and stop your blessings, but you're going to move forward because you're either going to visit your ancestors or you're going to have a connection to someone that's passed away that's going to heal you. You're going to have graveyard dirt from a cemetery. They're going to let you take this. If you know how to collect graveyard dirt, do it. If you don't, do your research. If you need some help, reach out. You must leave an offering. If you go to the cemetery, you can't just grab it and walk away or you will be haunted or you will get attachments so do your research they want you to study up on something esoteric um, or metaphysical they are waiting your ancestors want you to pay attention to your money um protection is what i'm getting shielding yourself and moving forward with the eight of wands you will be getting an answer that you've been seeking a message of importance will be coming to you and with the four of pentacles on how you can claim back your energy after the four of cups because someone is trying to cause heartbreak and stress in all areas of your life this is a psychic attack from a woman who is jealous and envious and wants to take what you have because this woman is negative and toxic with the devil here and the Knight of Cups, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're trying to cause disruption on the things that you love and your blessings because they see you as this beautiful healer. And they're trying to create an imbalance. Energy harvesting of some sort. You need to call back your energy and you do that with your ancestors. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups because they are watching you. Someone sends you the evil eye. They as in your ancestors, not just your enemies. Okay, what else? What should you focus on? I'm sorry, I almost knocked over the camera. <laughs> someone doesn't like that i'm giving you this message they want to keep you stuck they could have put you in a jar 
These people are dumbasses. Excuse my French. That's the message from your ancestors. Someone is really pissed. You have a lot of money blessings coming your way. You, I'm hearing coins. Like, literally, you have coins coming. Lots of money blessings. Collective. Yeah, look at You're going to be revitalized, rejuvenated here with the lover's card. Lilith is helping you overcome some type of burdens. This was upside down. You do need to get some type of... I heard graveyard work, so... Someone could have really done something bad to you, but you're going to be getting, like, the positive outcome of it because you're going to, if you do, like, heed the message and do what I, what this message is, if you, like, feel like this is for you, you're going to get graveyard dirt and you're going to do some type of spell with your ancestors for protection and you're going to trust your intuition and you are going to heal from this. The Baron Papalegba, her Allegua, you have a strong ancestor. That is going to protect you from this negative energy that someone has been doing to you. They're at a distance from you. You could have even forgot about this person. But karmic justice is here. Your ancestors are going to help you. But you need to do some kind of spell or candle work where you put the um, graveyard dirt into it. Um, because I feel this is also power 1, 11, 11. Um, that's very significant. What you need to focus on now, yeah. Focus on connecting to your higher self. I'm seeing this also as your past loved one and you could have been like soulmates, like family. Strong connection here, third eye connection. They're going to intuitively give you messages and downloads and you're going to pick up on that. If you're a man, this is a woman. If you're a woman, this is a man. Because someone is trying to do bad things behind your back. But you're aware of it now because your ancestors are blocking this nonsense and it's through meditative state. The two of cups and the two of swords but this negative energy is going to get blocked and you are this queen of swords you are confident you are strong the energy of love surrounds you and now it's time i'm hearing no more mr nice guy it's time to tap into that shadow side to defend yourself because you have a lot of blessings the wheel is turning the time is now take what resonates there um you may go to the graveyard where your family has been buried and you may get some graveyard dirt from them yeah see family um, these gifts have been passed down onto you and you're highly gifted and intuitive and they don't like that someone's trying to mess with your happiness and success. I'm getting a lot of goosebumps. There's also a woman energy here as well, but it is someone who's trying to end you, unalive you, stop some type of blessings. Archangel Michael, shield my space. Why the ten of swords? That's it. Stop. Okay. Time to go. Moving on to the next pile. Take what resonates there. Please like and subscribe. Personal reading and post in the description below. Pile three. Lapis lazuli. A stone of truth and clarity. Of primordial energies. Egyptians used it. Pharaohs wore it. There's a stone of leadership, truth, prosperity, abundance, success. Do not tell everyone your plans, pile three. What should you be focused on? Prayer, meditations, chants, affirmations, speaking your truth. You need to do a cleansing on your chakras. You need to do a meditation on your root chakra. What should you be focused on? Yeah. You need to do a meditation where you visualize your whole home is shielded. Trust your intuition. I do not see the swords as an attack. I do not see this as negativity. You could be getting nightmares because you're being warned that you need to protect yourself before shit hits the fan, for lack of a better term. The spirit animal of the owl is significant. Hecate and Santa Muerte coming through very strongly to tell you that they can help you, but you need to connect with them. I'm also seeing Ishtar and Nana. You astral project. I never noticed this, but you see the top how it's like the checkerboard. You astral project, you travel in the spirit realm. Hecate's wheel may protect you or have some significance there for you. I'm hearing there may be something there that wasn't there before. You need to learn something else about Hecate. Look at that, the two candles at crossroads, the moonlight intuition, and the dark of the moon is what I'm hearing. What's the King of Swords for Pile 3? What's the King of Swords for Pile 3 and what they need to focus on? 
Okay. Speaking your truth and letting the universe guide you on how you can move forward. That's pile three, what you need to focus on. You also need to focus on um, your inner child healing, doing shadow work. You need to do spiritual baths, essential oils, or candle work. Take what resonates or do all three. It's up to you. Yes. You need to focus on loving and nurturing yourself more, making sure you have time to relax, to breathe. Your sacral chakra could be affected or it could be the energy that the relationship with yourself needs to be improved. You also need to make sure that you make time for your spiritual practices because you could be really caught up in like the day-to-day, 9-to-5, 3D, everyday, normal people, John Doe, Jane Doe, whatever you call it, Joe Schmo, regular activities. Oh, what's the weather today? I wonder who won the, the football game. Like you need to focus on your intuition more in pile three. Yeah, you need to nurture the connection to your goddess, whoever that is, 1551, which is also six and a six, and it's also a 12 and a three, mind, body, and spirit. This is definitely Hecate coming through for most of you. You need to focus on forgiveness. Some of these piles are connected because I'm getting similar cards for all of the piles. So there may be messages in all the piles, but some messages from one, from two, and three uh, would apply to you. Maybe some of you guys watched everything which is awesome. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, but also you probably were guided to because there were messages in each pile for you. Balance is being restored within a family dynamic. There's an ending to sadness and grief. No more stress and anxiety. There's completion from an old chapter and it's now, you should be focusing on the new you. That's what it is. You need to let this go. The stress, whatever the hell... This was, it's over. Stop focusing towards it. Move away from it. Okay? It's over. Focus on, look at, you are this queen of wands. And you need to focus, I just said walk away. Look at 888. 888 could be significant. Eight of swords, eight of cups, eight of pentacles. Walk away from the stress, anxiety, the past. It's gone. You can't change it. Let it be. Focus on the present, what you want to attract, 1212 angel number. Is what I'm also seeing. Step into your Mars North Node Aries energy. Make whatever changes you need to make. Do the work. The time is now. No more delays, no more burdens. What should you be focusing on now? Again, with the Eight of Pentacles. You guys have something you should be working on. Whether that's like um, some type of personal growth. Hold on, sorry, I dropped a card. One second. Hmm. Yeah, like you guys should be planning for something. Whatever that looks like for you. You have something to work on, and the opportunities are endless. But you need to focus on that new project. Trust your intuition. Ask your angels and guides to help you work with that goddess, because she's gonna help guide you on what you need to do. The bottom of the deck is significant. What is that? Yeah, look at the three of cups. I could say mother maiden chrome. Connect with her. She's calling you. Look at and there's victory. She's gonna give you a new guide. A new um victor could be similar to someone else's energy that you once knew, or I don't know why I'm saying that, or that literally could be a past loved one. There's something of significance with a victor, but or victory, or you are the victor. I'm getting hunger games vibes too. I don't know, you guys let take what resonates. Let me know if any of that makes sense. But you do have a spirit guide that she's helping you. Protection spirit. It's a good energy, not bad. And she's going to help you move forward. But you, she may want the offering of like graveyard dirt also. <clears throat> or you have a past loved one who's watching you and they're going to help you. <clears throat> You're a very strong person. They're proud of you. But you need to connect with Goddess Hecate. She's going to help you connect with this past loved one, this ancestor. That's going to help you because they're watching you. They're already guarding you, but you need to connect. You need to, like, pick up the phone, so to speak. And they will continue to shield you and give you blessings. Um, so that's the reading overall. Yeah, again, a strong, spiritual, past loved one who is also gifted wants to help you with your gifts as well. But focus on that new project, that goal, that idea. Be strong, be confident. Make it happen because you're meant to do that. It's your life purpose. Go for it. It will bring you blessings. But you need to actually take the steps to achieve it. Um, speak positive words of affirmation, burn your bay leaves, work with your money crystals, the money ceremony, $30 each, serious inquiries only because I am going to put a lot of energy and I'm not just going to do that for fun. So yes, I'm charging for the energy, not just the supplies that I'm going to be using for that ceremony. Thank you for supporting my channel. If this resonates, let me know. 
drop down a comment below. It helps with the algorithm, but also it helps me see if I'm actually helping someone out there, which makes me feel good because I know I'm doing my job because all I want to do is help people. And obviously this is the whole purpose of this reading on what you guys should be focused on. So let me know if any of this resonates. Thank you for the donations. I appreciate your emails. If I haven't responded to your emails, I will catch up as soon as I possibly can. Readings are in progress for the private reading, so please be patient with me. If you want a reading, info is in the description below, and I send you many blessings. Bye.